Hi, it's Ginger Holiday. Not that anyone's gonna watch this anyway. So, I thought... I thought I would just update everybody on my life, because you all care. <laughs> I moved to New Orleans at the beginning of October, and... I got a job at a bakery, and it, it, it's been going pretty well so far. About two weeks into being here, my cat got deathly ill, and um, he actually died a few... Uh, I posted a video about him being sick, and he did die. Um, broke my heart. I'm like happy right now in this video, but like I still get... Still get teary-eyed and I think about him all the time. I mean, he was my little baby. I don't know if you can hear all that, like, noise. Uh, I went to a thing called Pet Fest today and I got a couple cats. <laughs> They're over there playing. So the story with that is, this is gonna be a long vlog, y'all. Sit down and get some popcorn. I went to this thing called Pet Fest and it's where you adopt you can go bring your dog in, I guess you could bring your cat if you were that weird. Uh, so you bring your dog, it's like a festival, there's music, there's food. I wasn't expecting that at all, I was expecting like, this is a very small thing. Because I'm new around here, I don't know how these things work. There's a festival for everything, okay? You name it, there's a festival for it. I went in there and I was looking around and there was a lot of dogs and I was like, are you sure there's any cats here? And by you, I mean myself, because I went by myself, because I don't have any friends. Hold on. That's better. I was walking around and, you know, looking for some cats, because I was like, well, there's got to be some cats to adopt here. And uh, I was going to wait till after Christmas to adopt another cat, because everyone's like, you know, you got to grieve. And I have been grieving. It's not like I'm just sitting around and laughing my head off, you know? I've been doing a lot of YouTube watching and just being depressed and doing nothing. So I thought, you know what? I can't do that anymore. Yeah, so let's get a new cat. Oh, so here's one of them. This is the boy. <laughs> His name is Cosmo. And the girl is also a black cat, but she's got uh, her shorter hair. Hi, lovey. Oh, you're so sweet. And the girl's name's Luna. Um, they didn't come with those. Well, they came with Cosmo. The girl was actually named that. And I was like, nah. It's more of a boy cat's name. And anyway, so. They're crazy. I... What am I talking about? So I go up to this van, like big bus that's got all these cats and they're all on the side. So I'm like waiting to talk to this girl who is obviously running the show. And this guy is like talking to her and, and she's like, are you looking for a cat today? And he's like, no, I'm looking for a dog. And it's like, there's a million other people to help you with these dogs, okay? I actually want a cat. Nobody else here seems to want one, which is fine. That's fine but uh, I really wanted to look at the cats. So I'm looking around, I'm like, how do I look at, how do I go in this bus thing? Cause it was like, like plexiglass on the outside and then you'd have to go like in the bus to actually see the cages. Hold on, just kidding, she's being shy. I go in there and I'm looking at these, at first I was like, I really want a kitten because you know, I got Nino as a kitten, and we bonded, and I loved him so much, and he loved me, and we had each other, and blah, 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 big happy family. Looking at all the different cats, a lot of them were paired up, and I'm just thinking, well, if they're paired up, they're probably gonna, they probably are like siblings, or, you know, they go well together, and I would feel so bad, like, splitting them up. So I saw these, I went. There was maybe only like, I don't know, like 10 cages total. So I went over and I was looking, all the younger cats were on the top and the, the older cats were on the bottom. And I was looking down into the cage and this little black cat just like went right up to the cage and was like, meow, like, hi. 
And I was like, oh. And right away I was like, yeah. I think, I think I want that one. At first I was looking at the other ones, the smaller ones, and I was like, mm, these are nice and whatever, and okay. But I don't know, I saw him and I was like, I really like him. And then they kind of let me like hold him and hold her and they were like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not required that it's a package deal, but they've been in this, they've been in the kennel for their entire lives. They're, they came in as kittens and they're eight months now and you know, they've never seen life outside of a cage basically. And I was just like, oh, that's so terrible. And I, it's, it's kind of crazy how long that they lasted there because they're sweet and cute. And I wish I could adopt all of them, you know, because there is a lot of stray cats around here. And of course I would never just bring one of them in just because, and you never know. You never know what they have. You never know. My brother called and we FaceTime and he was just like, oh, they're so cute. He kind of helped me pick out the name Luna because he was reading off because when I, heard Cosmo, I thought, well, they're black cats. They were Cosmo and Cricket. And I was like, Cricket? Uh, I can't really see that for a cat. I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll keep it in like the witchy theme, like black cats, witchy. Sometimes I wish I was a witch and whatever. So he looked it up and he started like, you know, listing off names for cats and the witchy, you know, genre. And I was like, Luna, that's a great name. I know that maybe that would be better for like a white cat because Luna is moon, Luna's the moon. Um, but who cares, it's a pretty name. It's a pretty girl name. So I like it, Cosmo and Luna, so cute. And at first, you know, I had always been thinking like, you know, in the past we've had a couple cats where, you know, we'd get them two at the same time and then they would bond to each other instead of to me, but it was like, or to whoever had the cat. But I figured they are already gonna be bonded to them, each other because they came together. But I just, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to split them up. It's just like, how can you do that? It's like taking twins away from each other. And I know that's silly, but it's just how I feel about it. Hopefully things will be getting better for me. I mean, not that, I am thankful. I'm very thankful that, you know, my brother came out here for a couple weeks while Nino was dying and he kind of, you know, kept me company because I don't have a roommate and, you know, I was, at, at first I wasn't planning on getting one. So I live in a shotgun, which means everyone walks, like, it's, it goes front door, living room, bedroom, bedroom, kitchen, bathroom. So you have to walk through all of that to get to the other side of the house. So it is awkward and I'm sure, you know, I am getting a roommate now. I interviewed somebody a couple days ago and she seemed like a cool person. We both are in the, you know, food industry. So, and we have similar schedules. So I don't think there's gonna be a lot of like crossover and whatever. Oh, can you hear that? Can you hear that? Probably not. It's my neighbor's dog. Okay, story about, quick story about that. Um, I don't wanna say that I don't like dogs, okay? Cause here's a story. When Nino died, I took him to the cre crematorium to get him cremated, and which was a great experience. They were super sweet. They were very understanding, very loving in the way that they treated me. And there was this dog there, uh, I think it was a golden retriever and he just knew. I don't know if it was a boy actually. I just assume that's how I am with dogs. Anyway, so he just comes up to me and puts his head in my lap and I pet him and I'm like crying and very sweet dog. I like an old dog like that. Oh, hold on. This is my little girl. This is Luna. Hi, Luna. Oh, well, oh. she's a little more skittish. She's still sweet. I think she'll warm up to me pretty quickly because she's already been on the bed and I mean, they're just not used to being out of sight of a cage. So, oh, you're falling off the bed here. Not that I don't like dogs. It's just that I have just a hard, t harder time warming up to a dog that is scary. So anyway, my neighbor has a dog and it's a pit bull. And oh my God, pit bulls are so popular here. I don't know why anybody would want one, but that's 
just me. Um, not to say they're dangerous or mean, that they look mean and dangerous, and a lot of times they are, but that's because that's how people train them, which is, you know, if you're gonna train something to be mean, it's gonna be mean. Oh, don't do that, don't do that. Don't do that. But his dog's eight years old, my neighbor, and that thing howls like it's being murdered when he, my neighbor's not home. So that dog goes on and on and on, and you're like, oh my god. You probably can't even hear it, but that thing is like whining and howling and... The other thing I don't understand is I thought that I was not allowed to have any animals other than one cat here. So don't tell my landlord I got two. But that thing, I went over there to meet my neighbor, just to be friendly, you know? Oh, you're gonna ruin that dress. Okay, okay, <laughs> So the dog is like scratching the shit out of the floor, which is, I mean... I have no, I mean, whatever. It, but it kind of like, was like, you'll be weird about having a cat here, but not about dogs. I mean, I don't know. It seems like harder to find a place with a dog just because dogs scratch like the wood and oh, I don't know. Luckily I have no carpet here. It's God, God knows what cats would do to that. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go and try to wrangle these two because they're being crazy. I do love them though. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.